Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Cassandra cluster on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Cassandra cluster. So from this page simply click on get it now and then click on continue. And then from this product page you need to click on create. After that you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have, choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. And finally, give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call mine as CC, which stands for Cassandra Cluster. And then choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. After that, make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. And then choose the size according to your requirements. And for the authentication type, I'm going to go with the SSH public key authentication. And finally, give yourself a username. So I'm going to call mine as CIS. After that, simply click on review plus create. And then you would have to wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation is completed, simply click on create to actually create the virtual machine. But this time around you would be prompted to download the private key and create resource. So download the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. After that, you need to simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is completed, we can move on to the next step which is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So for that simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page click on connect and then choose SSH and then copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a powershell and then simply replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. Now after placing the path for the private key simply hit enter and if you are prompted type in yes and hit enter once more. After that your command prompt will be connected to the SSH terminal of a virtual machine. Now inside this SSH terminal. The very first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to check the status of our clusters. So for that simply type in the command node tool space status and then hit enter. So this is going to show you the status of our clusters. So we have a cluster at the address 127.0.0.0. Anyways, if you want to connect to the cluster, we would have to use the cluster tool which is CQLSH and then we would have to type in the address of our cluster which is 127.0.0.1 and then hit enter. Now. By default, the name of the cluster is test cluster. Now if you want to change this name, we need to use this command tool which is the cqlsh and we need to change the configuration file as well. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this step by step blog post guide and in here you would find this command which is to update the name of the cluster. So copy this command and paste it inside your SSH terminal and then simply replace this cluster name with the cluster name that you want to give. So for this tutorial, I'm going to call this cluster as XYZ and then hit enter. Now to change the configuration file, I'm going to simply exit from this cluster tool by typing in the command exit and then I'm going to open up the configuration file by using the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash cassandra forward slash cassandra dot yaml file and then hit enter. Now. You can see that cluster name is written over here. So I'm simply going to rename this to my cluster name that I've given in, in the DB table using the SQLSH tool. So that was XYZ and then control O hit enter and control X to save and exit from the file. Now to apply this configuration, what we can do is that we can simply run the command sudo system CTL restart Cassandra. So that is going to restart the services of Cassandra and thus applying the configuration. So that is how you change the default name of the cluster. Now let's talk about adding new nodes to our cluster. So for that we need to go back to the configuration file. So it's sudo nano etc cassandra and then cassandra.jml file and let's talk about this configuration file. So we have cluster name which is as you can tell the name of the cluster and then you have the number of tokens and then you have allocated tokens and so much more settings. So let's search for seeds. So over here, this seed is actually a common delimited list of addresses which represent each individual node. So for example, if you have a different node, you would put that over here by putting a comma and then double quotation marks. And then within this quotation mark, you would put the address. So for example, we have a node, a second node at the address 128.0.0.1 and we can set the port range to 5000. So if this was our node, we would simply control O 
hit enter and control x to save the configuration file then we would rerun the systemctl restart cassandra command to apply the configuration and after that our new node would have been added to the cluster now we know how to access nodes it's through the cqlsh command and then the address of the node anyways that brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for cassandra cluster image on azure marketplace and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide and if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel